is Matt Stenson from EdTechPodcast.com, and I'm going to be reviewing for you today the Smart Technologies Airliner Tablet. Um, it's a fun little piece of technology, and so why don't we get started right away and take a look at it. Okay, so we're going to start out by looking at a little bit of the uh, physical hardware of the airliner, and it is a, um, a flat slate. You can see it's... it's uh, it's pretty thin, it just has a small battery bump on the back of it, and uh, it has a attached stylus that goes along with it. Um, in addition, it has a couple of function buttons up here that we'll talk about in a little bit. Um, there's a power button, and then actually the, uh, the main part of the tablet lifts off and allows you to insert, um, they include this sheet right here that gives you some hot points um, for some different tools along this side. And so all those hot points are designed to work with the smart interactive software. As far as the actual dimensions of the device goes, um, it's 11 by about 10 and 8, I believe. And then the actual usable surface, which is in the center part here, is um, seven and three quarters by nine and three quarters, so it gives you a, it gives you a pretty um, pretty good area to work with. Um, like I said, it is battery powered, and it is um, connected to your PC using Bluetooth. So the idea behind this is that you can connect this slate to your um, computer or your workstation, and then use it in a similar way as you would the other smart board um, technologies but um, you can carry it around the room. You can hand it off to students, and um, as I'll talk about in a little bit, you can even have more than one of these connected at the same time. All right, so at this point, I've already connected the airliner to my uh, laptop here. Um, now remember, you can connect this to any device that has a Bluetooth card in it, so, um, my laptop has a Bluetooth device built into it. Um, but if you don't have that, Smart actually includes with the purchase of the device, they also include a Bluetooth um, USB dongle. So you can go ahead and plug that in to a computer that you don't have um, Bluetooth enabled on with the internal hardware and go ahead and still use the, the device. So I have this hooked up and uh, the the screen here or the the tablet um, is not like a what we might be used to on a on a cell phone screen or something like that. Uh, some of the, some of the other touch screens that we've worked with, um, this is actually a magnetic um, sensor screen. So it actually uses uses um, magnetic uh, properties in the pen to to detect where I'm pointing. Um, so that. Uh, introduces some some kind of nice interface features in that I can hover over the top. Maybe I can uh, zoom in on it a bit here. So I can hover over the top, and that will actually move my mouse up on the screen. So I can do things like I can go ahead and click on my Start menu and I can navigate around here and I'm just hovering over the top of the screen. I'm not actually touching the screen. And then whenever I want to click on something, I just have to tap the screen at that point. So I can click on something here, get that to pop out for me. And then I can open up Photo Gallery. So that's the basic mousing interface. So it works throughout Windows. You don't even have to have um, the smart software installed if you don't want to. Alright, so at this point I've loaded up the smart notebook software and I will note just to start off with that the notebook software and the whole suite that smart provides you with these tablets and with their smart boards as well um, could um, contain a whole video review in and of itself so I'm not really going to be showing you all the features of the software just showing you how the tablet interacts with the software. Um, but if you're interested in that, you can always go out to Smart's website, take a look at that. And we might do a video review of that later, too. Um, but the software is the same that you receive with a full-size Smart board. So it's going to be the exact same experience um, as a full-size Smart board. So if we go ahead and 
look again at our setup here, um, you'll see that I have opened up the Smart Notebook software on my laptop. And um, now my tablet has some more functionality that it can, and it can utilize within this notebook software. So I can go ahead and still mouse around as, as usual. Um, but now I have some different interface elements that I can choose. For example, I can draw on the screen now at this point. Um, and I can do things like uh, write out equations. Um, etc. Things like that. Um, now one thing that I will note as far as the usability of this device, you'll note that when I write down here there isn't a screen down here so I'm not able to actually see on the screen what I'm writing. I have to be looking over here at this screen. That is a limitation of this technology because it's not piping video back through to this device or anything, or device or anything like that. Um, it is a little bit hard to use and you'll notice my, my handwriting isn't that great. Um, however, my handwriting, just so you know, isn't that great anyways. So if you have better handwriting, it'll look better than this. Um, all the features, as I said before, of Smart Notebook are there for you. And if you have the Smart Toolbar running on the side, you can annotate on top of any page, uh, web page, on top of your PowerPoints. Um, Smart really integrates fully with your computer and allows you to annotate over the top of anything, which can be really, really helpful in a classroom situation, especially if you're wanting to do impromptu annotations. All right, so to kind of wrap things up uh, with the Smart Airliner, just a few final notes and uh, just a couple application um, ideas. You can use more than one of these at once when you're in the notebook software. Now you can't use it um, when you're just mousing around your computer using this really as a pointing device to navigate around the computer. You can only use one at a time at that point. If you have two connected, um, they'll kind of fight for the mouse, which can be a little bit confusing. Um, but if you have two connected and you're in the notebook software actually and annotating, you can have two people annotating at once. So one application idea is you get a couple of these, put them in your smart classroom, and then you can hand them out to students, perhaps in groups, and divide the board in half and have them both adding ideas to different lists. Uh, maybe you're making a pro-con list for these things. You could divide um, your projected image up at the front of class in half and say put all your pros on this side and all the cons on this side and then they could do that without having to come up to the board each time they have an idea. So that's one great use of this. Another great use is if you're an educator who likes to walk around the classroom this is your tool because you can walk anywhere in the classroom. Bluetooth range is going to be pretty good. You're going to be able to get out a good 20 feet away from your device usually um, and be able to write up on the board in front. So, um, And you can also pass this over to a student if they have an idea that they want to illustrate. Pass it off to them and they can start using the device as well. In addition, another great thing about this piece of technology is that it is considerably cheaper than a regular smart board. So it's a great way to take a look at the smart software, which is really, um, in my opinion, the biggest thing they have going for them at a very inexpensive price. This is well under um, $1,000. They don't actually release their pricing, but I can tell you it's in about the $500 range or so. Um, so um, it is a great device if you're looking to get started in using smart board like technology. It does have a little bit of a learning curve because it doesn't have the display built in. So you have to kind of have a little bit of hand-eye coordination to get started with it. But I would definitely um, recommend you check out this product. And if you're um, interested in it, pick one up and uh, start playing around with it.